Hey guys, what's up? It's Paige. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a very highly requested video and that is what's in my backpack for the 2020 school year. For those of you who don't know, I am going to be a sophomore in college at American University, which is located in Washington, DC. And although my college has switched to online classes, I'll still be living in an off-campus apartment with some of my friends. Low key, I don't know if I really even needed a backpack this year, but I bought one anyway and I'm gonna show you guys what's inside of it today. <laughs> also, really quickly before we get into the video, you guys should totally follow my Instagram. I'm gonna be moving into college really, really soon, so I'm giving you guys updates all about my move-in vlog and all my progress moving into college there. So definitely go follow the Instagram. It'll be linked in the description box. And yeah, without further ado, let's reveal the backpack. So here is my backpack for the 2020 school year. A, she's a cutie. This backpack is actually from Amazon. It was super cheap. I believe it was like $30 or so. I'll definitely have it linked down below if you're looking for something similar. You can check in the description box for the link. I ended up opting for this backpack because I wanted something smaller than what I had last year. I figured this year, since I'm just doing online classes and the only places I'm really gonna be moving for class is around my apartment, probably not gonna need a huge ass backpack to lug around all my things. This will probably be the perfect size. But I just thought this bag was super casual looking. It looks like you can just throw it over your shoulder. It honestly kind of reminds me of one of those Fajal Raven Konkin bags. I did add a little touch to the bag. So as you can see, there's these patches here and that was my own doing. It didn't come like that. I put these patches on myself. So the patches I chose, I have like this little galaxy print here, a lightning bolt the small lips with the tongue coming out. And then there's obviously this big one here that says the Beatles and then a couple other small ones. So again, these are pretty random, but I thought they were kind of cool and they add a little something something to the bag. If you want to do something similar, I ordered these patches off of Amazon. I'll have the exact ones that I ordered linked down below. So that is my backpack for this year. Now let's see what's inside of it. There's lots of goodies in here. We're gonna start with the big compartment. It only has one big zip compartment, not like multiple. I know some bags have that. Um, the first thing I have in here in the back is my laptop. So my laptop is the 13 inch MacBook Pro. Absolutely gorgeous, we love her. Um, that's the one big positive to this bag is although it is small and pretty compact, it still can fit my laptop, which is like the one essential. You can't do online class without your laptop. Okay, up next in my backpack, I have this binder. This is one of those binders with the rubber sides, which this is the only type of binder I'll buy because every single time I buy one of the cheaper or flimsier ones, it always gets a rip in it like two weeks into the school year. So these are the only binders that last me. And this year I just picked up one of them because I know I'm not gonna need more than that. I'm thinking I'm probably not gonna get very many paper handouts considering I won't actually physically be in a classroom to receive handouts, but I want to get a binder anyway, just in case I want to print out any papers, which I might do, because I like having a paper copy of like syllabus, syllabuses, syllabi? Am I even a college student? I don't know what the plural of syllabus is. Yeah, I don't know, just in case there are papers or worksheets or something online that I want to print out, this is where I'll be storing them. Up next, for taking notes and stuff, I did get a little college ruled notebook. I actually bought this a couple of years ago. Oh my God, look, <laughs> there's still calculus notes in here. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like I was doing some proofs or something. Absolutely horrible, I'm so thankful to be done with calculus, man. I hate math. <laughs> next up in my backpack, I have my iPad. Last year in my What's in My Backpack video, I called this an iPad mini and you guys absolutely roasted me in the comments section. I've learned from my mistakes. This is the iPad Air and it's the third edition. So if you're looking to buy something similar, I've had this for the longest time and it works absolutely amazing for me. Another thing that I keep in my backpack is my Apple Pencil. This is actually the first generation Apple Pencil. So it's like the cheaper one is the older one, not the newer version that they came out with. It actually makes such a difference and it makes your life way easier, I promise you. Anyway, so this is what my iPad looks like. I just have a cute little lock screen, which I found on Pinterest. And then for taking notes on my iPad, I absolutely love the app Notability. It does cost a little bit of money. I think it's about seven or eight dollars, which really isn't that steep. Like that's how much you would pay for like a notebook from Staples or something anyway. So then as you can see here, you can actually organize all your subjects into dividers. So I have one for semester one in all my classes and then one for semester two. So then here, if I go into my bio class, you can see I have all my notes on the side here. And I was actually able to download the slides from my classes and then in Notability, you can actually write on them. So you can see here, I have all my notes, I have all my annotations. So this is just a very convenient way to take notes. For me, I like to, when I'm watching the lecture, follow along on the slides and then annotate as I go. And then later, if I'm trying to study and I'm trying to memorize the information, I'll rewrite it on paper in like that notebook that I showed you. Nobody cares! And then something else that I'm doing new this year on my iPad is I'm actually trying out a digital planner. 
So normally in the past, I always buy like a cute new agenda for like the 2020 school year and I'm so excited about it. And then I literally open it maybe once and never use it again. I'm just not the type of person who can plan my day out on a physical planner. I need to have something like a dry erase board or a digital one because I'm always changing it and updating it and making mistakes and stuff. So I wanted to try out a digital planner and I was able to find one. So I'm using this app called Good Notes. You can look up on Etsy digital planner Good Notes notes and it comes up with a bunch of templates for you and what makes this cool is that you can scroll through this as if it were a real planner so you can use the tabs as you would on a normal notebook so here I can click on December and it'll take me to the December spreadsheet I can flip through it as if it were a regular notebook the one I downloaded has plenty of space for you to write in your daily day-to-day -day tasks it also has space for you to write to-do columns and to-do notes, and then it obviously has monthly spreads as well, which is honestly the most helpful part for me because I like to plan out my videos and see what I have coming up for the month. But I don't know, I just wanted to try out something new because again, like I said, I never use paper planners when I get them. Every time I buy an agenda, it always goes to waste. So hopefully this one works out a little bit better. Up next in my backpack, I have my Hydro Flask. Again, I mentioned this last year in my What's in My Backpack video. And at that point, this was brand new. Now it's pretty worn in. It has like dents all over it and stuff, but she still works. She's not broken. I ordered this off of Amazon as well. I believe it was about $35. Again, I ordered this like a year ago, but if the links still work, I'll have them in the description box. You can try to find something similar. Oh, and I should probably mention, my Hydro Flask also has a little sticker on it that says American, because I go to American University. And this was ordered off of Redbubble. So if you're looking for some cute stickers or something to decorate your Hydro Flask, Redbubble is the place to go. They have actually so many stickers and they're all very cute. Okay, up next, I'm so excited about this. I found this adorable wallet at Target. Literally, I'm obsessed with it. It has a little leopard cheetah print. So I've been looking for a wallet to use as like my daily, everyday go-to wallet for a little bit now. And I finally found this one. So it just opens up. It has a spot for you to put your license and your cards and stuff. And then obviously put some cash in there. I'm just gonna be carrying around this in my backpack just in case I ever need to spend some money, which I probably will because I spend a lot of money, so. Yeah, and then the last thing that I have in this big compartment is my pencil case. I don't normally use pencil cases, but because this backpack doesn't really have many pouches or pockets for pencils, I thought it would be a good idea to invest in one this year. This actually, I didn't invest in it because I got this as a gift last year, so I'm not exactly sure where it's from. I'm sure you can find something similar at Target or Staples. Inside this pencil pouch, I do have my Apple Pencil, like I was saying. I also bought two packets of Post-it notes. I got one in this pretty lavender color and one in this light blue color. And I just use these to like write out little to-do lists or stuff for the day. And also reminders and stuff like that. Oh, and on the topic of post-it notes, I also have these little smaller post-it notes. These are like little tabs that you can put in a book or something if you're marking a page and you wanna try to remember where your spot was. Okay, up next in my pencil pouch, I have pencils, no duh. <laughs> I like to use the mechanical pencils. I just got a big pack of like 40 or something. Just kidding, it's only 24. Up next in this little pouch, I have my highlighters for the year. I got one of these packs that has the four Sharpie highlighters in them. I don't need to really justify this. You know, you need highlighters for school. And then lastly in this pencil pouch, I have two black pens. And these are the premium gel roller pens, so major flex. No, I'm just kidding. These are just what I'm used to writing with. I really like the feel of gel pens. So that is everything for the pencil pouch. Lastly, I wanna show you guys what's inside this smaller pocket in the front here. First up, we have the most important item and that is this little mask. This is one of like the cheap disposable masks. It's not really disposable, but it like comes in a pack of 50 or whatever. I like this one because it's super lightweight and I hate the feeling of really heavy masks because although they keep you safe, I always get super sweaty and feel gross underneath them. So I really like the lightweight mask. I am kind of looking for a new mask right now, one that's reusable and kind of has a cute pattern or something. So if you guys know any brands or places to buy a cute mask, please let me know. Your girl's looking. Next up in this front pocket, I have my AirPods. Absolutely essential. Can't do school without them. Can't do life without them, okay? Up next in my front pouch, I have these cool glasses. Ayy, <laughs> these make me look like such a nerd. But these glasses are actually blue light glasses, so if you're staring at a computer screen and stuff for a long periods of time, it emits a lot of blue light, which can make it really difficult to sleep at night, if you didn't know. 
some signs for you there. So if I'm ever doing schoolwork really late at night, which I'm doing all the freaking time, or if I'm doing a lot of editing late at night, also doing that all the time, then I really like to try to wear my blue light glasses so that it's easier for me to fall asleep. So these glasses are actually by a brand called TJIN Eyewear. I'll have them linked down below if you want to try to find a similar pair. Next up in my little front pouch, I have some gum. This is Trident. It's the spearmint flavor. It's the literal best. Sometimes late at night when I'm really studying or working hard and I get stressed out, it helps me to have have like a piece of gum or something to chew on if that that sounds weird I know but it's true just to help me focus and concentrate on my work all right I only have a couple more items to show you guys but next up are my oil absorbing sheets by clean and clear these are my literal lifesavers I carry these around with me everywhere so basically what this is if you haven't heard about it before you can rub it on your face to absorb the oil and as you can see it gets all that oil off which is super nasty but very useful if you don't want to look greasy all the time because I do be looking greasy sometimes. Up next, I have some hand sanitizer in here. This is totally essential, especially right now with COVID going on. Even though I'm just staying inside my apartment, I wanna obviously have clean hands and minimize germs as much as possible, so. Next up, I have some chapstick in here. Also an essential, this is by the brand Chapstick, and it's just a plain unscented flavor. I also got me some lotion. This is the Gold Bond Ultimate Healing brand. Um, I really like this one because it has aloe in it, so it has a really good smell especially with all that hand sanitizer you're putting on your hands can get really dried out so definitely want to have some of this on hand uh -huh, see that pun there and then the last item that's in my backpack is this mascara this is the rocket volume express mascara by maybelline i've been using this stuff for years it's literally a drugstore product but i swear by it and again i'm probably not going to really need to carry this around with me in my backpack considering i'm not leaving my apartment but just in case you never know where i might be maybe i'm at a coffee shop or something maybe there's a cute boy around and i want to look better we have this mascara to make ourselves look a little more presentable and that is everything inside my backpack. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about all the absolutely riveting items inside of my backpack for the 2020 school year. Even though everything's online this year, I'm actually so excited to still go to college and see all my friends and be in my apartment. And I hope you guys are excited for school too, no matter what your situations are and no matter how it's been affected this year. Just try to stay positive and make the most of your situation because that's really all you can do. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Again, make sure you're following that Instagram if you want to see updates for moving vlogs and college and stuff like that. I love you guys all so much. Thank you for watching today's video and I will see you next Sunday in the next video.